Evo is finally over and I finally got to achieve my first ever goal leading into my first Evo. I was so scared before this tournament because the only thing that was in my way, the only thing that I wanted to accomplish going into this tournament was beating my first person. And best believe, I accomplished my goal. Let me tell you how I did it. Uh, if you guys are not followed on any of my social medias, make sure you guys go check it out because I do have a couple of things that I've been posting for Dragon Ball, things that I've been doing for tournaments. And if you guys are here locally in Vegas, I am going to be posting up some tournaments that are going around, especially with Liberty Hustle and Liberty Hustle actually got connected with Sin City. So make sure you guys go check them out on their Instagram so you guys can be notified on any tournaments that are going on in Vegas. All right, without further ado. So my Evo journey was supposed to be just a all all relaxing no pressure no anxiety environment for me because I wasn't trying to go in to be the best like Ash Ketchup I wanna be the very best like no one ever was but Little did I know that at this one point in time, I'm texting everyone and I text one of my best friends. I'm like, hey, I'm going to Evo. And he was like, oh, bet you should come over to this tournament to see the environment and feel how it is to actually be in a tournament. And I'm like, OK, why not? So he's hosting this tournament at the Nerds Game and Bar in Las Vegas. And I'm under the age and it's a bar. So I had to sneak my way in, which was crazy. <laughs> But it was all good, I didn't drink anything, and um, little did I know that the person that was actually streaming this entire tournament was Chris G. For those who don't know who Chris G is, he is a 2016 EVO winner for Marvel vs. Capcom, and... At first I didn't know who he was, it took me a second to register, he had told me who he was, and I was just like... Why don't I know who this is? And then later on, I look him up and I'm like, oh my God, this man is a big deal. So I do this tournament and as I'm sitting down and I'm getting ready to play, I'm feeling this pressure just fall on me because people are watching. Me. And I'm like, this, this is different than how it is when I'm actually at home just playing in rank. And I had lost my first match. Oh, Ezra was not confident. He was not confident in the DP anymore, so he did not do it. And instead of- And after that loss, it just felt so bad. And I wanted to get back in the tournament and play again. And there was no loser's bracket. It was just, if you lose, you lose. And I, it didn't feel right, because I know I was a better player than that. And later on, after the tournament, I started playing everyone, and I started winning because there was no pressure. I even went against the same person, and then I played against Chris G. And I got to feel how it was going against a pro player, which then made me change my mind of how I wanted to actually enter EVO. Honestly, after that day, I think I changed as an FGC player because the only thing that was going in my head was I don't want to lose the first match in EVO. I don't want to lose this first match in EVO. And ever since that day, I trained and trained and I actually labbed for the first time in a fighting game. Not going in just learning combos, but learning strategies, learning things of how I'm going to actually overcome certain scenarios in a game. And little did I know that that was slowly making me a better player. So after that, I contacted Chris G because I needed to feel that environment again of being in a tournament stage. So he told me there was this place called the Hyper Arena at the Luxor's Hotel and I went and let me tell you guys that was one of the biggest pressures I felt because it was actually being streamed. There was a huge screen for everyone to watch as there were multiple PlayStation 5s with screens just there for me to play. I'm going to be playing on this stage right here so, and they are going to be having it on the big screen where everyone can see it and I think it's going to be going on YouTube too. And everyone else was just sitting there training and that 
was a crazy feeling for me and I'm happy that I've gone. So thank you, Chris G for showing me that experience. And if you guys are not following him on YouTube, make sure to go check him out. So as I was walking up the stage to go to my very first opponent, my heart was just pounding out of my chest. I just got caught up right now. I'm on station five. Oh, this is crazy, bro. This is really crazy. This is bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Whoa. I'm not gonna lie, anxiety is kicking in hard, but that's okay. It's okay if I lose my first round today, as long as I don't lose my first round in Evo. The anxiety was hitting hard because I did not want to lose my first match. Now, I wasn't gonna be too, too upset because it was not Evo, and my goal was to win my first match in Evo, but in my heart, it was telling me I did not want to lose. So as I was sitting down waiting for my opponent, I got to train just for him not to show. So technically I did get to win my first match, but it didn't feel right. So I went up and did my second match and my heart was still pounding. And as I was playing this guy, he was a Ken player. You know they're aggressive. You know they throw random Shoryukens. You know I have to be a little bit more patient, but because I was just in this mental state of a panic. I wasn't playing how I normally played and I lost on stream for everyone to see at the HyperX Arena. Bad news, uh, I lost my second game, but it's all good because there's another tournament on the 23rd and I'm just gonna keep going until I get used to it because I'm not gonna lie, anxiety really kicked my ass today because um, my combo that I did, my jury combo that I do every single time, I dropped it so bad, man. Man, but I guess it's just all it takes is time and I'm gonna make it. You guys will see me soon. It's your boy Cross Up, peace. It was awful, but I didn't let it bring me down. I went into my second match, still had this anxiety. I was going against Zangief, and finally the anxiety was slowly going away, but by the time I was ready, it was already too late because I was already in my final round with him and I already had hardly any health and I was just trying to make a comeback that game, but it didn't happen. So I took the L respectfully. I know I was super heated after that. I took my stuff, the person I was with, I was just like, we'll watch Chris G's match and then we're just gonna go. I didn't even wanna see the rest of the tournament. I watched it later at my house to see who had won. Of course it was Chris G, but I felt something that day that made me wanna just get better. So after that heated experience that I had at that tournament, I went around searching to see if I can find any tournaments locally so that I can get through this anxiety that was weighing over my shoulders so that I don't lose this first ever EVO match. And I had found this group called Liberty Hustle, which by the way, guys, if you guys are not followed them on Instagram, make sure you guys go and do that because they are doing tournaments locally here in Vegas and they have one that is coming up on the 24th. Um, I, I believe it's the 24th. I'll make sure I post that up on my Instagram so you guys can go check that out. But after finding them, I went to go do their tournament. Now, I strictly was just going for the Street Fighter 6 tournament because that's what I was mainly playing. But because their tournament wasn't at a later time, which I did not know when I got there, I decided to sign up for every tournament that they had, which was- I'm here at a tournament at Liberty Hustle, and I was just gonna do Street Fighter, but I ended up doing a whole bunch of other ones, like Mortal Kombat, SNK2, um, and I think, I think I'm also in Dragon Ball Fighters, which I haven't played in a minute, but I just got done doing my first Mortal Kombat game, and I took first dub. I took it all the way, 2-0, and I think I'm about to do my next round. And Little did I know, that I was going to top third place for Mortal Kombat, win the SNK tournament, I got a statue, win the Dragon Ball Fighters tournament, also got another statue for that. Um, actually, I think you can see the statues. Let me see if I can move my camera. The statues over there. And then for the Street Fighter tournament, I won. It felt amazing. It was a hundred dollar prize, which is also up there well, underneath my little Evo sign up thing. And it felt great because that anxiety that I had was slowly going away. And it was crazy too, because I just was on a roll. After I had lost my first Mortal Kombat match, um, 
I just started getting into this flow state where I was just beating everyone in these tournaments and they were really good players too it was just at that day I was just the better player and everything just felt so right the anxiety started going away when I went home I started playing uh, Street Fighter on rank matches and I just started going on streaks and I was just a whole new person. Now, I didn't think after that I was going to go and win EVO, but I felt that there was hope on beating my first person. So after I trained and got everything together, it's time for EVO. Just made it into EVO. We're finally here. This is. Look at this place. Yo, this is crazy. This is wild. Finally made it. Oh, let's go. And I'm walking in. There's so many people. So many people in that line. I'm just waiting in here in line right now. So you guys can see. It's like the line is ridiculous. All the way across. So many people. So as a wait, I'm going to eat this scrumptious burrito right here with chorizo in it and then we're gonna see what's happening and I had taken my family so that they can support me and it was just a crazy experience I had fun but uh, before I actually went to go do my first match and I sat down uh, at my bracket I had done some practice games with this one guy and his name was White Ash he was actually in the tournament with me he was my second opponent but before we even got to play, he beat me 14 and 0, which I'm happy I got to play him first because all of my anxiety disappeared. Everything that I had was gone. I knew he was the better player and I knew he was going to go super far. It just sucks that I have to fight him so early on. And I had looked at the bracket and he was literally my next opponent after my first guy. So I'm like, at least there's someone else I get to play. So I'm waiting for my first opponent and he took forever. I will not lie. Like everyone was waiting for him. People around me were just like, is this guy's opponent going to be showing up because we're waiting? And he almost got DQ'd, but I did not want him to get DQ'd. I would have been so mad. So I was just like, let's wait it out as long as we can. I want to beat my first opponent officially because the next person I got to go against is this white ash who beat me 14 and 0. I wasn't afraid of him, but I had a feeling I wasn't going to win. So... Finally, he showed up and he came in and I was just so happy. We did our first match and this iconic scenario happened. He was playing Chung Lee because I am a jury main. I was like, there's no way this man is Chung Lee. <laughs> As I'm playing jury. It scared me because usually the Chung Lee person has to win over jury, but I took the dub. I won the whole match. I did it flawlessly with 2-0. And I achieved my goal for EVO. I wasn't even upset that the next match was White Ash and I had lost. But I made sure that I gave him a fight. Because he was whooping my ass throughout the whole time. And at the end, I made sure there was hope showing that I had could potentially win. Get him, is By getting around on him. But... He still took it. I went into the loser's bracket. I won four more times before I lost again. And that was my EVO experience and how I won my first match. And best believe, I'm going to be trying to go to the EVO in Japan next year. See you guys soon. It's your boy Cross Up. If I crossed you up once, I can do it again. You guys will be seeing me very soon because I'll be posting every day. Peace.